Welcome to RoboShaft. The topic of today's video is photo updates, firmware updates over the air. And behind me, you can see the entire number of robots. At RoboShaft, we test every firmware version, not because we look for errors. We need to install it correctly for you. And therefore, our installers need to know how a software reacts properly and the manufacturable development costs. A product is delivered to you very quickly because it can supposedly be improved over the air without any problems later on. The problems, dear customers, that come with it end up with you because you enter into a contract with the manufacturer when you register the app. He indeed accepts his contractual terms using the example here with Husqvarna, where Husqvarna handles this topic very, very seriously. There are others that are much more extreme. And in this contractual relationship, over which we have no legal or factual influence, you will then indeed actually likely receive these software updates. Photo, firmware over the air. And what that means for you, and especially the hidden costs involved. Let's take a look at that now. I am standing here on a robot reference surface, and with this video, I want to show you how we evaluate something like this. As installers, we need to know exactly how the firmware installed on your devices actually works. 2001. Therefore, we have installed reference surfaces for all systems, RoboShaft RS Pro 3, but behind it are Steel and Husqvarna. On it, there is a large area with an island that should be nicely mowed. And of course, there are indeed narrow strips in different widths available. Additionally, behind me is a teardrop-shaped island that represents various curves. Yes, and as you can see with the nice chairs and tables, we definitely, absolutely, really spend hours watching the robot's reaction. And that's exactly how it will be installed on site for you. And now please imagine what happens when the system has been in operation for two weeks, three weeks, or two months. Or does the manufacturer come up with the idea to update things over the air via a photo? Everyone knows my video about edge card from Husqvarna, and the narrow strip is a nice example. We have now worked a long time on the programming so that the strip behaves as it is, and the standard GPS programming doesn't work at all anymore. It is then individually and meticulously adjusted with edge cut so that the strip, which initially looked quite disastrous, now actually develops very significantly better. Yes, and the problem becomes really severe with a wireless robot because with the cable out of the robot the base programming is not the laid wire but actually, as you can see here in this example of the Luba, the map behind it which you can clearly see. And now you can imagine what happens when a software update occurs, and please, it does happen. We had it with Segway, we had it with CAS. On Monday morning, it suddenly looks like the map has shifted by 10 centimeters and the prompt appears. We have implemented functions 1, 2, 3, and 4. And since it can't be done any other way because the architecture has changed, customers, please do this installation yourselves. The example of the Husqvarna installation behind me. It is laborious, but all our Husqvarna gardens have a programming time of about four to five hours and need to be visited two to three times until they are perfectly programmed. In 2001, if the cards are shuffled, then of course you'll be pleased when you need to commission a new installation with us. In a wireless installation, everything falls apart without the maps. This means a new installation, but also in the cables. You see right here in front of me a Solo Pro 3 which has a very special and unique narrow strip mode. This means the robot navigates within the narrow strip, making sure that no damage occurs here in a safe manner and efficiently. When the software is changed via a photo update, they suddenly behave as they normally would here in the standard, in a typical scenario, and generally, and as you can see in the overlay with a photo update featuring Suchetti, providing more insight about the situation, this is how it can look when sudden and unpredictable changes occur that we have no control over. We have now simply and clearly decided to inform you openly about this topic. The manufacturer protects itself with its contractual terms, that's for sure. Yes, and then he calls us and says the system worked perfectly for two months and suddenly nothing happens anymore. 
Yes, we will, of course, definitely help you and take a look at it. But you know what an hour of labor costs today? For professional equipment, we absolutely prefer not to work with firmware over the air updates and without connectivity, because then we install firmware that we know in great detail on these surfaces and we know that the equipment will work perfectly for you. Well, and then we are always asked what is different with the special model RS Pro 3. Among many things actually in fact the software because we have significant influence over it which is crucial and you can see the timeline of a so-called beta test with solo displayed. Everything is coordinated in collaboration with the manufacturer here and these are really significant changes that are coming. They are extensively tested on these surfaces for several months and then we thoroughly release them. And in his case, connectivity and the app are of course definitely not a problem for you because we have the rollout of the software in our hands. Yes, we are currently and actively working on another very special model in this context, indeed. This now comes from Sujeti, which is a really cool all-purpose gadget. Because otherwise, a professional installation process is indeed half the battle. Because the software application is indeed the be-all and end-all.